Hi class. I'd like to show you how you can um, how do, how you can search uh, your recipes if you've got a uh, a database driven recipe site like mine. So first of all, I want to make a navigation item for for the search. So I want to add an item here for for searching. And to do that. I open up my navigation and enter a new item for search recipes. Notice I set a page um, variable to be equal to search. That means when I click this navigation item, my index file will look for a file called search.php. Let me just take a look in my browser. There is my search recipes navigation item. If I click it, I get a warning because no file called search.php is found inside views. So I haven't got this, this uh, file yet. That's why I get the warning. So in views, let's make a new file called search. And that, just to begin with, should return search is coming. Oh, coming. Save, back to browser. And if I click search recipes, I should see search is coming. This output here tells me that my search.php file is loaded and returns its content as it should. So I can now move on and go and create myself a uh, search form. I'd like to put that in a new file. Uh, search form. just do a basic form with a method. Let's use post because method get is already used for the dynamic navigation. So let's use post for um, for other forms for this site here. Action. When the form is submitted, I'd like to reload the current page. And the current page would be index.php with page equals search. So I want to reload the search page when the form is submitted. And the form, let's put in an input element for searching and one for uh, submitting the form. So I'm going to need a few types. First, a type search. That is a, a valid type attribute, <clears throat> which will create a, well, a single line text field made for searching. The name could be new. Uh, let's call it search term. And let's have a submit button with the name of new search and a value of search exclamation mark. Let's try and load the search form. And do that by creating a search output variable. And to begin with, that should hold whatever I get back from including my uh, search form. I've just created that. And I want the search form to be returned to index where it will be displayed. Let's try that. Oh, browser. <clears throat> 
So when I select the search recipes navigation item, I get to see the search form, a single line text field and a button, a submit button that says search exclamation mark. When I click the button, I simply get to reload the search page. Look at that. PHP will reload the search page, but not a lot happens here. I'd like to detect uh, if the form was submitted. And <clears throat> to do that, I need to know what method is the form using, well, post, and what name attribute or name attributes will be available when the form is submitted. I can see that new search will be available. So I can go and use that and say new search submitted equals is set dollar underscore post because it, the form uses the method post and if a post variable called new search is set well then the search form must have been submitted so if a new search was submitted Let's provide some feedback. You search for something. Save. Let's take a look. So, enter the search page. Search for a cat, for example. You search for something. Actually, I'd like PXP to know what I'm searching for. And I can get hold of that by asking for whatever did a user type in to the single line text field here. And I can get hold of that through its name, in this case, search term. So the search term is whatever we can find when we look in the post super global for a search term. The search form when that is submitted it will encode a post variable called search term holding whatever a user typed in and using PHP I can get hold of that. You search for search term. Let's try that. So click the uh, search navigation item, search for, uh, I don't know, search for T. You search for T. Perfect. So I've got myself a little search form here. PHP can detect when the form is submitted and it can see, or rather PHP knows what I'm searching for. What I haven't got yet is that I want PHP to actually search my database for a recipe with T. But that will be for a second video. Thanks for watching.